Good morning, guys. It is early as shit right now. I'm waking up to go to 100 Octane Cars and Croissants with Kent and Matt. Also, this, my mom asked me for a picture of my car, I don't know how long ago, and I didn't know why, but I sent it to her, and she made this awesome canvas of it, so that's pretty cool. Thank you, mom. So I'm driving all the way to Kent's house, which actually is about an hour away, even though we hang out so much, uh, and then we're gonna take his Ferrari 458. No, we're gonna take his Ferrari Scuderia, and his brother's taking the 458. What a family, it's amazing. To the car show, and we're gonna check out what's there. Little room tour. Used to be into basketball. Oh yeah, check that out. Model status. Of course, got a Koenigsegg. Random shit. Clothes. And Van Halen. Super big into Van Halen. Went to a Van Halen concert with my dad back in, I guess, 2004. And Sammy Hagar signed himself. And hey, look. It's me playing with some cars that I built. Yeah. I'm not a morning person, but there's something oddly satisfying about waking up when the sun is rising. We got the 2006 Sienna and the 2011 328i convertible. Thankfully, we're taking this today. That would be interesting to take to a car meet, maybe someday. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kent, I'm already late, and uh, you're probably gonna watch this vlog and go, fuck you, Parker, that's why you're late. You were vlogging the whole time, but I'm sorry. I gotta do what I gotta do. Also, <laughs> I'm low on gas, so I gotta stop at the gas station. I'll be there soon, Kent. <laughs> Nothing like singing shitty rap songs in the morning. The Bay Area is so damn beautiful, it's unreal. Zero to 60, yeah, yeah, get there. Nope, it's not even gonna get there in time. Sorry, Mom. Ooh, Ferrari. Hello, 458 Italia. It's the only new S-Class in the world with a Get Low sticker on it, I guarantee you that. Some type of weird yellow car. And then the Scuderia. This is so fucking sexy, oh my god. Alright, comment below, what would you rather have? 430 Scuderia or 458 Spider? Oh my god, it comes with water? Yeah. Nice. We activated race mode because even though uh, we're just driving on the street to a car show, race mode is necessary. Always on. Always on. <laughs> oh my god. Sounds so cool. Ah! Yeah, so um, one thing about the Ferraris that I really like is once you hit, at least in this car, once you hit 6,000 RPMs or you push the throttle down by a certain amount, it uh, opens these valves, which I believe bypass part of the muffler. Yeah, probably. So it gets a lot louder, and oh, yeah. It's like the classy version of a muffler delete with actually some science behind it. Yeah, yeah. Fun part about this car is it actually was Floyd Mayweather's car uh, before Kent got it, and it has a $10,000 plus speaker system in it, which is kind of ridiculous and redundant, um, unnecessary in a Scuderia. But you know what, we're not too mad about it because we're not racing it right now. But Floyd, tell me tell me about this speaker system. Please, comment below. <laughs> I know you're watching. I know you watch all Vehicle Virgins videos. No, you don't. You've never watched a single one. It's okay. I forgive you. We tried to film in this vineyard once. I forget what what car were we reviewing? Like a GT3, GT3 or? No, it yeah. was a nice car. It was a great. It was a nice car. We showed up. We were very respectable, and the lady was like, "Yeah, get the fuck out of here." But but then the worst part is we actually started at another vineyard. Oh yeah. And yeah. she <laughs> followed us to this vineyard because she, she she owned both of them. Are yeah. you kidding me? What are the odds on that? So yeah, we lost. Old lady won. <laughs> us zero. Although we, we did come back. Later. We came back later. Yeah. yeah. Ha. This is a sexy 2009 design here. Mm -hmm. I had a it's, full it's tank yesterday, uh -huh. and now I'm about a half. Yeah. So. Well, it's not as bad as the Aventador, which every time I've reviewed one, uh, other than the SV, because it was shorter, I basically, oh, that's annoying. Yeah, well, that's the thing about Ferraris. <laughs> they, they, they just make a lot of noises. Annoying noise. Watch. Yo, let's He's do it in. again. Okay. Well, at least it's a different pitch than the other noise. It's a, it's a terrible first world problem. I don't yeah. mind it at all. But, oh, man. But you hear that every single time. Yeah, you can tune your voice in case you're a singer. Ooh, that's an A-sharp minor. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what I was saying, with every Aventador that I've reviewed, I've literally drained the entire gas tank in the review. And like most other cars, I might drain a quarter, a tenth of a tank or something like that. Uh, maybe because I just like it and I floor it off. God damn it, Kent, fuck! Well, no, I had to, I had to <laughs> pop the gas cap, so I had to put the keys back. This is a good looking car. And so is this. 
This is the land of S-Classes. Everyone has an S-Class here. These Novatec wheels have tires on them that are pretty much impossible to find. Are they still the ones that are pretty? They are said to be the last set of these tires in the world. <laughs> that either sucks. We reorder wheels that go with this car or we just buy stock wheels. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Like the way it looks. Oh, it looks cool. But if you can't get tires, it's kind of useless. That's true. Look at that perfect driving position at nine and three. Oh, just a born race car driver. difference in this car. Sometimes some vehicles it doesn't really do all that much but you can feel when you go over bumps with this in what is the suspension mode called? Uh, it, it, just, I, I, it has no name it's just when you're in race mode you can set it to wet suspension mode so you can still have all the benefits when it comes to engine exhaust and race mode while having the comfort of wet mode. Gotcha. Well, without wet mode it's <laughs> it's intense as hell. <laughs> That's a good thing. Oh look at that race. Oh one. What, are you, what are you expecting to be there? Uh, 918, uh, maybe a loft Ferrari. It's, you know, just a You know, your average cars at yeah. an average cost. Yeah, the coffee. interesting thing about this, this meet is you talk to the photographer kids in this area, and if there's not more than three hypercars, yeah, they're, so they're like, spoiled. it's ruined. It's, it's ruined. It's ridiculous. And we're like, oh my god, it's an S class yeah. in Michigan. <laughs> yeah, I came for the croissants, and there they are. All right, we just got rejected. That sucks. Our car's not but good enough. I guess We're not gotta, on the list. I gotta sell it. <laughs> Wait, yeah, we didn't really try. We're getting rid of it. We really didn't. Yeah, we gotta get rid of this. Time for a LaFerrari. Yeah. Look, they're getting rejected too. Casual E63, and then freaking Tesla Island over here. Well, it's not really an island, but you know what I mean, sort of. No, too you don't. Many. Too many. Do a little tunnel run for the kids. Do it for the kids. Woo! Are you kidding me? I bet they don't have super oh. problems. Except for the last one's a 540. Okay, well it turns out two of the three weren't M5s and I actually can't tell about the third one because I didn't see the rear end, but they didn't have quad exhaust. How do you let everyone know you have a Ferrari? You, uh, <laughs> 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 oh my God, is that a Ferrari? Yeah, you could say it is. This is an amazing angle. That is what she said. All right, we're walking into the meet. Oh, we croissants in there. Selection. First so croissant we're, we're spotting. We're just here for the croissants. I yeah, don't that. get us wrong. We're not here for the cars. Oh, only the croissants. It's an orange croissant and a yellow croissant. Exactly. Oh, the, the black 918's here. I love going to car shows, but one of the problems is actually documenting it is extremely difficult because there's so much going on. But this is a rare and excellent opportunity to talk about these cars. So we've got the ultimate edition of the 430, the Scuderia, next to the ultimate edition of the Gallardo, the Super Trofeo Stradale, and they are both red and look absolutely incredible. Kent actually mentioned that the netting piece in the interior of the Gallardo is actually the same as on the Scuderia. The same part. Same exact part. But I'm guessing the same person owns both of these. Look at the interior. Having all that Alcantara and carbon makes the Gallardo interior look so much less dated. This louvered engine bay and the wing are definitely my favorite parts. So sick. Volcano orange, beautiful 650S. So Kent's come up with a genius new way of determining the best cars at the show. We've got one category, which is the best cars at the show, basic bitch style, where things like a Bugatti Veyron or a 918 would win. And then we'll have the more car enthusiast yeah, based, exactly. more rare cars. So let's check out what the favorites are at Cars and Croissants. I keep trying to call it Cars and Coffee while I'm holding a coffee, but I mean, you, you gotta know, get you a croissant. I gotta get a croissant. Also a requirement for naming the three best cars basic bitch style is to have a Starbucks cup. I like this Lamborghini here. <laughs> I know about cars. I watch vehicle versions. He taught me that that's a Lamborghini. That's the 12C right there. See, Tyga needs this paint job on a Ferrari. This Chrome AMG GTS. I think it's a Definitely. 
It's a V10 M5 with an ESS supercharger kit that probably works unlike mine. Looks a lot more extensive. Check out, it's got an intercooler, which I definitely need. Wow, big brake kit, HRE wheels, this is incredible. And it's a manual. That's a sick license plate. All right, if you're a subscriber and you're watching this video and you own this M5, hit me up. I wanna review this, this is sick. What's up, dude? It's fun to meet you. <laughs> Good to meet you. Fan? Yes. <laughs> So I've had like 20 people ask me if this is my car because it's literally the exact same spec. Green with black wheels, although he has the better wheels. And Alcantara interior with green stitching. I believe this SV has an IPE exhaust and it is insanely loud. Look how cool this is. In the passenger seat of a 918 is a book called The Art of Racing in the Rain. This is a 918, but not an ordinary 918. It has the Wysock package. Looks pretty awesome in black. Got the carbon Wysock fins. Love the green accents. All right, so in the basic bitch category, we're gonna have to go with the 918 being the best car here. Definitely. Only because it probably looks the most exotic of all of them. And if I didn't know anything about cars, I think this would be the most expensive. Definitely. Which it obviously is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, that looks familiar. For the enthusiast coolest car of the car show, definitely this 911R. This is the more rare manual version of a Porsche GT3, which pretty much you could only get if you owned a 918. And this spec is absolutely incredible. Look at those wheels. And this might win as the best sounding car of the show. And sickest wrap. Unfortunately, the NSX left, so we're gonna use the green Huracan and pretend it's an NSX. Uh, that's gonna win the croissant award for the show where it looks tasty, but it just leaves you feeling unsatisfied Ferrari, Ferrari All right comment below. What would you rather have a 458 special or the 430 Scuderia? I know what Ken would rather have you know, actually, this, Really this one? Yeah, I okay. Mean, all right. It's gonna be the, that's what I'd choose you know, Highest power with yep. V8. Here we have an Audi Q5 Lovely. This insane M5, apparently 620 wheel horsepower, is taken off. Awesome car, man. is leaving and that means that the entire car show moves right to the 918 to capture startup and revving clips and it driving away. People just fight to have the front spot. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's the OEM ultraviolet color but then it's got likely Expel Stealth. So it comes off in this beautiful satin finish. Looks so cool with the yellow calibers. Ah! No! Yeah! yeah! Well, that Cars and Croissants was sweet as always. Time to go back home in the scooter van. My live stream is uh, doing good. I don't know, how am I doing guys? Hopefully good. We got 209 people watching, which is pretty cool. If you guys like this and you're watching on YouTube and don't follow me on Instagram, do that at Vehicle Virgins and I'll, uh, maybe I'll do some more live streaming. Huracan Force Induction, maybe, I don't know. Um, probably not. Naturally aspirated life. Naturally life. aspirated life, let's go. Oh shit, oh. Oh my God, this car is sick. It's Tiffany FRS. Tiffany dot FRS, excuse me, I gotta get that right. I liked this car, it's fun. It should be faster. It's probably much slower than TJ Hunt's, so that's kind of lame, Matt. Um, Ronald, um, for not having the night package. Oh, Ronald doesn't have the night package. That is the necessary, <laughs> that's the most necessary option no on the CLA. And it, and it leaves dust on your fingers, so that's cool. 
Review it. Look at the look at the back of this. This has one of the best looking rear ends um, of all time, other than uh, Alexa Collins on Instagram. We are going to lunch right now, and we are about to get a ride in a new Bentley Bentayga. And look at it; it's pulling up right now. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. This is sexy. I love the wheels too. And I think my favorite part of all Bentleys is the incredible front grille. Look how stunning that is. This is the luxury Bentley tailgating system. Oh, that, I didn't even know that. The car can lower significantly because of the air suspension. And then apparently this slides out and you can sit on this beautiful quilted leather. This is a really awesome spec, black and red. You got tons of legroom in the rear and you've got tablets that insert here that's pretty cool gorgeous typical Bentley finishing see if you spend two hundred and twenty thousand dollars on an s65 you get a crappy plastic key that comes with a c-class but look how beautiful this is this is better than a Rolls-Royce key although I think Rolls-Royce comes with two different keys yeah, like Rolls -Royce. this is very Rolls -Royce nice is my all-time favorite yeah probably me too the Rolls-Royce Ghost I have like 200 miles in it it's <laughs> brand new but when I drive I feel so safe so this is it has a comfort Bentley and sport mode right yeah, Bentley's like a combination of comfort and sport. First impressions. Yeah, so first impressions, obviously it's much more expensive than any SUV to date. Of course, Rolls Royce is gonna come out with one that might be more expensive, but that, I think it's worth the money. It's actually like above and beyond my expectations, especially compared, this compared to the G-Wagon I just drove in terms of refinement, it's like on a, on a whole nother level. Of course, that's Bentley versus a car that's kind of more of a military off-road vehicle, but it's awesome. This is a beautifully specced S63. Why it has carbon ceramic brakes, I'm not sure, but the interior is that awesome porcelain and black two-tone. I kind of wanted that on mine. So we've got this controller back here that's for the climate control and seat controls, but you can actually remove it. And you've got a load of functionality, like vehicle data. Oh, outside temperature, lovely. That's awesome. And the graphics on the backup camera, but also it can be switched to a front camera when you're driving forward, are legitimately the best graphics I've ever seen on a surround view camera. <laughs> we just did an acceleration thing? pull on this thing and it is nuts. Okay. Oh okay, my god. Now we're in sport I wasn't mode. Even right, one more oh time. my gosh. Yeah, Alright, do it again. Mode. Yeah. Mode. All right, here oh we go. my god. Wheel spin. Oh my gosh! Wheel spin in a Bentley Bentayga. That's insane. And of course, you've got your Bentley headset. It's kind of like Beats by Dre, but much classier. <laughs> How's the sound system? Have you tested it out? Yeah. It's really good. What type of uh, sound system? You've got the tail lights shaped like a B. Wow. I'm impressed. This is a perfect way to end the vlog. The Bentayga is going away. I'm like blown away. Incredible. It, that is like next level. That is a next level SUV. It's changing the game and I'm sure a bunch of other manufacturers are going to have to step their game up to compete with that. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, I hope you enjoyed this vlog hanging out with me, Kent and Matt and everyone else, all mm -hmm. the cars. I hope you enjoyed our uh, new style of rating cars at car shows. <laughs> the Basic Bitch 918 and the Enthusiast 911R. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. Oh, also, Make sure to follow us on Instagram. We're gonna do some more Instagram live streams. Uh, I guess people like that. I don't yeah. know. I'm not very good at it, but I'll learn. See you next video.